Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Shelly, it was great to see you today out at the house. Uh, what a beautiful house, great location too, by the way. This, um, this view of the house is shot about 40 feet, I think, off the ground by our commercial drone that we uh, employ. Some, sometimes the roofs are uh, uh, steep enough that uh, OSHA wants us to scaffold in order to get to the tops of them. So rather than uh, put non-applicable on the, on the uh, roof shots, uh, chimney tops, we go ahead and deploy the commercial drone and we get some wonderful pictures here. And these are pictures of your, uh, your chimneys. Both have stainless steel caps. This is a different view. And uh, the, all four of these pictures are just different views of, the, uh, of your chimneys there. So anyway, um, um, just wanted to let you know where those pictures actually came from. Living room fireplace, working set of gas logs, manually operated right here. We just uh, turn counterclockwise to turn up the logs, clockwise, of course, to turn them down. Uh, dampers must stay open all the time with those gas logs. You just don't want any chance of carbon monoxide, which you wouldn't see or smell coming into the house. So just make sure the dampers are left in the open position. This particular fireplace is a double 8 by 13 flue. Uh, system and it's different from the uh, flue system in the den. You can see clearly it's using a single 13 by 13 flue. Both are are, uh, are appropriate. Uh, they're working just fine. Now this one uh, is a wood burning fireplace and, it, and you should be able to operate the damper. The problem is when you go to open it, it just flops open. It needs a little clamp here to keep that from happening. That's a, a design flaw in that particular damper. It's the only thing that causes a problem, but it does need to be fixed. Also, the floor profile is missing some mortar here. If hot ashes went down in there, there's actually a wood beam underneath there. And that's where the hearth extension, the part of the hearth that extends into the room, meets the, uh, the inner hearth, the floor of the firebox, and where the two adjoin, there's a wood beam underneath there. Coat says it must be filled with refractory cement. I've given you a price on both doing that and putting the clamp in for you. Very inexpensive, but it's something that needs to be done. You folks have questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks. <music>